you got 23 rebounds, AD got 23 rebounds. What was it that tussle like? What was that like going up against him? Uh, it was fun. It was a uh, he's a great player. He got it going a little early in the first quarter. Uh, you no, know, he's tough to keep uh, keep up the glass. You no, know, he, uh, he did his job as as far as gonna make some adjustments. Uh, you know, kind of slow him down a little bit, but overall, I feel it's competitive. A lot is being made just of how quick the turnaround is and how different you know the Kings are and the Lakers are. For you specifically, how how has that quick turnaround been from adjusting from a guy like Sabonis to to an Anthony Davis? Uh, it's definitely a, a adjustment. Uh, a totally different styles of playing. Uh, different, you know, you know had, Kings' offense is a lot different. We're similar to ours. Uh, you know, uh, Lakers play a little, little different, and uh, so definitely from the quick turnaround, we didn't get a lot of time to prepare like we did last series. So uh, we got to learn on the fly. But we used to doing that. I feel like we're gonna, uh, you know, make adjustments and you know, figure it out. When, when you guys are in your too big look, which obviously you still want to play a ton, like what is the key to, I guess, beating the way that they're defending you? Uh, no, just continue to stay space and, uh, you know, don't get bogged up and, uh, you know, you know, play with some organization. I think we did a great job in the first quarter of getting great looks. Uh, you know, so me and Draymond have seen this type of defense a lot throughout since I've been playing with them. Uh, so it's not nothing we're, we're not used to. Uh, you got to you know, get used to it. Uh, you know, I think we're going to make some adjustments and figure it out uh, how to, you know, when we do get bogged up and slow down, we know how to make the right play calls and different things like that. Kavon, uh, obviously, you guys make that 14 0 run to come back in the fourth and tie. But what was the keyest, the biggest stretch in this game, in your estimation, that kind of turned it? Uh, I think we just uh, was able to get stops. Uh, it was uh, for a stretch we weren't able to get stops, and we did when we did get stops, we weren't able to get the rebound. So uh, that last group, we did a great job of getting stops and playing with it, playing in transition. Uh, we didn't have to play against a set defense. We stopped fouling in the fourth as much as we did earlier in the, in the half. So uh, I think that was probably the, the biggest key, uh, you know, getting stops and not fouling. And we were able to you know, play free flowing and play in transition. We were uh, really tough to stop. And uh, I think you know, in the third quarter, we was able, we was getting fouls. They were slowing us down and, and kind of uh, able to get set on defense. Kavon, when you look at that free throw disparity tonight, did that have you know more to do with the differ- different styles of play between the two teams, or more so things that you guys could control on your end? Uh, that's a little bit of both, but I think it's, it's things we can control. We had a lot of silly fouls. Uh, I know I had like two. Uh, Renee was in the bonus. I just reached on over it back and sent eighty to free throw line. A couple where we just fouled shorter for no reason. Different things like that. Uh, we got to kind of limit. Uh, you know, we knew coming into the game that they gonna use their games and shit. They, they, they get to the free throw line a lot, and that was one of our you no know, game plan. This uh, you no know, things we had to focus on. We didn't do a good job in the first half.